You're getting pretty good at that, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't fall in the water like I usually do. Huh? Oh. Where's Jackson? Yo! -ho! Hey, Jackson! Let me give you a hand with that. Maybe he's not here yet, Charlie. Well, he better be here. Beautiful here, Charlie. Really beautiful. I want to tell you something. When I come up here, I forget all my problems. This is God's country. You guys going to go hunting, or are you going to start a war? We may start a war. We may just well start a war if Jackson's left us up here high and dry. Oh, dry hell. Don't drop that in the water, George. I hate to have to shoot you. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Charlie. What? Look at that. Who's that? She works here. So do I. Who are you, a guy? No. Mr. Jackson hired us to clean up the camp, look after things when he's gone. What do you mean, when he's gone? Where'd he go? Took some hunters up the Thompson River. So to be back tomorrow, the day after. Oh, that's just great. Then what the hell are we supposed to do in the meantime? Let's go without him. You can't. You can't go without a guide in country like this. A lot of people do. I know a lot of people do. A lot of people do a lot of things. A lot of people break the law, but I don't, my friend. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should just forget about it and go back. Ah, oh, oh, no. come on, Charlie. Look, what difference does it make, huh? Hey, look, we'll get out the cards, play a little poker. Time will go by before you know it. All right, we'll wait two days, and if Jackson shows up, we'll break his neck. Those, uh, those cabins up there, are they, uh, are they empty? Yes, sir. OK. Sweeney, you and George, you take the one on the left, and Wilbur and I will take the one on the right. Wilbur, you go ahead and you go with the boy here and you stow the gear, all right? You are a boy, aren't you? I mean, with all that hair and beard, you could be a bearded lady. I'm not. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, I was only joking. I didn't mean anything. Just kidding, that's all. What's the girl's name? Linda. Does she do the cooking around here? Among other things. Like what? Making beds, cleaning. Uh-huh. What cabin does she sleep in? Mine. Are you married? No. I see. No, you don't see. <laughs> Maybe I don't. You know what the trouble your generation is? It's got no sense of humor. All right, come on, Wilbur. What do you say? Let's get the guns off the dock and let's get moving. Charlie. He's not a bad guy once you get to know him, you know. It's just that he looks forward to coming up here all year long. And if something goes wrong, he has to take it out on somebody. <laughs> it's usually me. <laughs> we were in the Marines together a long time ago. He was a sergeant and I was his uh, striker, dog robber, you know. Uh, shine his shoes, polish his brass, stuff like that. <laughs> I've been doing it ever since. <sighs> Boy, I did my time in the Marines. I was the only coward in the Corps, and damn proud of it. <laughs> hey, that's the first time I've seen you smile. Guess I'm out of practice. Why's that? It's a long story. Oh, you in some kind of trouble? A man tells everybody his business, he doesn't have any. Oh, meaning for me to mind my own. I, I'm sorry. I, Hey, that's Charlie's rifle, and it was loaded. Probably didn't hold on the clip when he jacked the bolt through a shell right into the chamber. Yeah, you handled that pretty good. Basic training. You in the Army? Airborne. Well... Fort Benning, Georgia. It's another long story.
Really? Doesn't that kid fix that generator so we can get some light in here? George, relax. He's working on it. He's working on it. Well, he should have fixed it before we got here. Charlie. What? Come on. If you could sell a dishwasher like that, you could make a fortune. Well, <laughs> and the young ones sure let it all hang out, don't they? Hmm? George, you're a dirty old man. Well, you shove a pair like that in front of me, I am. I thought you came up here so you could get away from women. Oh, Charlie, if my wife looked like that, I'd never leave home. If your wife looked like that, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, listen, Wilby, you're supposed to be some kind of mechanic. Go on outside and see what's wrong. Paratroopers. 82nd. Oh, man. You could have that jumping out of airplanes. Woo! Me, I'd use up all my fight in the air. <laughs> Hit the ground, I wouldn't be worth a damn. <laughs> Somebody fire a shot, I'd probably turn tail and run. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> oh, it happened to you? Yes, sir. What you doing up here in the middle of nowhere? Well, is it? You're not going to believe this. There's nothing wrong with this generator. It just ran out of gas. You're a good cook. Thanks. Where did it come from? Victoria. I've been to Victoria. I, I don't understand one thing. I, when Jackson was here, he used to have an Indian lady. She used to cook and clean for him. I mean, how, how come you got the job? David asked me to. David who? The one you called the bearded lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I, I apologize because I was only joking. No, you're not. Why don't you just be honest about it? You don't like David and you don't like me. It's not true. Why don't you just leave me alone? I can do that. Look, there's just, uh, I think there's one thing I should get straight. The only reason I came in here was because I wanted to get to know you better. Why? Because I have tits? Oh, come on, don't be ridiculous. You want to see him? 
Take a good look. You're a real bitch, aren't you? What's going on? Nothing. What happened? Nothing. Come on. It was my fault. Charlie? I hit him. He hit me back. David, what are you going to do? Knock him on his all-American ass? That's right. It's wrong, and you know it. never should have taken this job. You had no choice. Chance is what I didn't have. I should have known something like this was going to happen. Oh, Charlie, let's pack up and get the hell out of here. What the hell are you talking about? For 10 months, you tell me, when are we going to go north? When are we going to go to the lake? And then we get up here, and now you want to get out of here. You've been acting strange since we've been here. Are you a squirrely or something? What's the matter? Oh, no, it's just... Uh... Well, what is it? I mean, if you got something to tell me, tell me. You know, all the years we've been knowing each other, I've never kept anything from you. I mean, I always told you the truth, good or bad, right? Yeah, that's right. So what? No, it's, it's just something that's... What the hell is the matter with you? If you've got something to say, say it. Well, I, I don't know how... What do you mean you don't know how? <laughs> Say it, tell me. What's it, the boy? <gasps> oh, Charlie. Yeah, that's the boy. What do you mean? You think he's mad at me because I slapped his girlfriend? Oh, no, no. I, yeah, that's, that's not it. Then what the hell is it? <sighs> he was in the 82nd Airborne. Well, what has the 82nd Airborne got to do he with He was that? a deserter. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who told you he was a deserter? He did. I don't know, I think this thing fires a little to the right. All right, one more time. Set him up in the other alley.
Currently. Clean it, clean it, clean it. George, you want to help? Come here, come here. Ooh, come on. Take a look. Take a look. Did that sound okay? Oh, God. Oh, baby, just turn it on for me one more time. Oh, yeah. A little more. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Jesus, George, these are great glasses. Let me see. Let me see. Charlie knows. And you, you've got to get out of here. Look, I know him. And, and there's just no telling what he'll do. I'm not afraid of Charlie. <sighs> Boy, I am. That's your problem. That girl. I, I sure would hate to see anything happen to her. So would I. And why don't you leave? Now. You wouldn't understand. You are making a mistake. A big mistake. Depends how you look at it. Jackson. Maybe he's not going to take the plane in. Maybe he's going to pack him. Oh, take him a week if he does that. Uh... 
Well, I'll deal the cards, damn it. Huh. setting it up there. It's the heat from the fireplace. It'll do that sometime. One of those bearing timbers gives way this old goddamn roof will cave in. Well, can't you think of anything else except being a construction engineer? Only when I hear one of those power saws. If there's anything in the world I hate, it's a power saw. If that kid's not careful. He's liable to cut his balls off. He's got no balls. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? How old is he? 23, maybe. Same age as Danny. I remember when they brought Danny home. Flags whipping in the wind. Drums. A guard of honor. My son. Meanwhile, sons of bitches like that are still alive out there. What are you talking about, Charlie? Go on, Wilbur. You tell him. You know what I'm talking about. Tell him what I'm talking about. Go on. He's uh, hiding out up here. What do you mean he's hiding out up here? He's a deserter. Who said so? He said so. Well, that beats being a draft dodger, right? Now, what the hell difference does that make? Well, I just mean that they'll probably go easier on him if he turns himself in, that's Well, he may never get a chance to turn himself in. Now, wait a minute. No, Charlie. you wait a minute. You listen to me. You ever hear of a game called Run, Sheep, Run? You ever play that when you were a kid? Huh? Well, it's kind of like hide and seek, see? And the best way not to get caught is to wait till the guy who's supposed to be looking for you gets tired. But he's not really looking for you. He's just pretending that he's looking for you. And you wait. When you get your chance, you sneak up and back of them, and you yell, Ali, 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 oxen free! Then every son of a bitch comes out of wherever he's hiding behind the rocks. And he comes out and he laughs and he brags how he didn't get caught. Well, that's how it's going to be from now on. People are getting tired of the game. They are forgetting the war. They are forgetting that sons were killed. And every son of a bitch who deserted and ran away is coming out of their hills and from under the goddamn rocks. And they're running around and they're thumbing their nose at you, at you, at you, and at me, and they're getting off scot-free. You know, Charlie, a lot of people go along with what they're doing. That's right, and I'll tell you something else, a lot of people they didn't lose a son in the war. What are you going to do, Charlie? I don't know. I honest to God don't know. <laughs> You a duck hunter? No. <laughs> Neither am I. 
I don't think it's much fun, you know, to sit in the duck line all day. And you're never going to know when the guy alongside he's going to get nervous and shoot you down. That can happen, you know. In fact, I remember once there was a friend of mine and his wife, they went on a duck shoot, and the uh, ducks come in. This guy got so excited, he blew the back of his wife's head off. A gun's a dangerous thing in the hands of a person that doesn't know how to handle one. Still out there? I sure don't like the way Charlie's been acting. I didn't want to come up here this year. I mean, for the first time ever. I didn't want to come up here. It was like I knew something bad was going to happen. I, I was going to tell Charlie. <sighs> Only I couldn't work up enough nerve. Listen, Wilbur, why don't we break out the scotch? I don't mean just the bottle, I mean the whole damn case. Let's get Charlie so drunk he doesn't know his ass from his elbow. What do you say? Maybe you forget about the whole thing. Yeah. He won't forget about the whole thing. Luca tells me you were a paratrooper during the war. That's right. Well, my old outfit had fought in Vietnam. Got the shit kicked out of it in the Nang. They could have run, but they hung in there. We didn't have a choice. They were cut off. They had a choice. But they hung in. Some of them ran away. But they'll live to be sorry they ever did. Meaning me. That's right. Maybe I think I'm doing the right thing. If you ever lose a buddy, a brother, or a son in the war? No, I never lost a son. Then what the hell do you know about the right thing? My son died in Vietnam. And you ran away. I had my reasons. The only reason you ran away was to save your ass. You call me a coward. That's right. Careful, that thing. It's loaded. I'm 
Colonel shot him out there. Wilbur? You think I'm wrong, don't you? You know, most people go through life just like I do, doing what they're told. Or they don't really give a damn about anything or anybody but themselves. But not you. You, you, you care. I mean, you really care. It's just you care too damn much. How can you care too damn much about someone that you love? Charlie, Danny is dead. I know that. You don't have to tell me that. I know that better than anybody in the world. I know something else, too, that that son of a bitch who just went up the hill is still alive. I feel sorry for you. For both of you. I was just uh, saying to George and Sweeney, how as long as I've been coming up here hunting with you, I've never seen you take a shot at anything that was standing still. I mean, you hold your fire and give it a chance. That right, boy. He's standing stock still, Charlie. That's right. You're absolutely right. For somebody? Yeah, I was looking under the bed for you. I thought you might be hiding there. Get out. I'll get out. But I'm not wrong about you. 
You're wrong about a lot of things. I'm sure I'm wrong about a lot of things. I've been wrong a lot of things lots of times. I mean, we had a guy live down the block from me. He ripped the draft card in half. I didn't do a goddamn thing. He should have been shot. That's your answer for everything, isn't it? No, no, it's not my answer for everything. Not necessarily, but I do think it separates the men from the boys. The old men. Old men? <laughs> Let me tell you something about what you call the old men. The old men fought for this country while the young men, some of the young men ran away and they didn't do a goddamn thing but sit on their ass. Don't call me old men. Don't you tell me about them. You know what they did? They fought while you sat up there pretending you were protesting. Protesting for your rights. It had nothing to do with dignity. It had nothing to do with the rights of mankind. Nothing at all. All you did was sit up there and find fault. Find fault with everything that every man ever did in this country and every man who ever died for it for 200 years. Old men. Oh, how you must have loved it sitting up there saying to yourself, my goodness, look what a whore they made out of this country. You raped her and then you turn around, God damn it, and you call her a whore. You say, oh, we can't even go out of the streets of the night. Some hop head will cut our throat. If you do go out in the streets, you gotta carry a goddamn gun. Who the hell will fight for a country like that? Well, let me tell you something. It's your kind that ruined the country. It's your kind that watched her being torn apart. And it's your kind that's not doing a goddamn thing to put her back together again, either. But you will. Till the day I die. Don't you ever get tired of waving the flag? My fucking flag is not white. You over here, Charlie Company, Charlie. 11th Infantry, Nam. I was an observer with them in 68. You know what I observed? Old men, women, children, running, screaming, machine gunned by American soldiers. Now, come on, don't try to tell me you were fighting in the wrong war. That's part of it. You send men out day after day thinking they're gonna die for nothing. And there's no telling what they're gonna do under pressure. You weren't under pressure, you were under the wrong commanding officer. If we had a guy like that in our outfit, you know what we would have done? We would have shot a goddamn grenade down his throat and blown his ass off. And let me tell you something else, and you get it straight. Not one of us, not one of us ever believed in killing women or children. You believed in what you were fighting for. That's right, and I knew what I was fighting for. I was fighting for my life, my stupid little life. I thought you were a patriot. What the hell do you know about patriotism? I don't love my country, right or wrong. You don't have a country. That could change. Sure, it'll change. It'll change if those idiots in Washington have their way. And you know what you'll have left? The land of the freeloaders and the home of the brave. That's what you'll have. If bullshit were music, you'd be a brass band, Charlie. Well, let me tell you something that's no bullshit. You're not going to get out of these woods ever. Not ever. Now, you just think that over. I'm all right, I'm all right. But I heard an aeroplane. Must have just been the wind, that's all. Sweeney thinks that uh, we ought to break out the scotch. Huh. Oh, damn case. We get so drunk we won't know our ass from our elbow. <laughs> and, 
to might take your mind off things. What do you think? I think you worry too much. Well, why shouldn't I? I mean, you said it yourself. You, you almost shot that boy out there. Maybe I will shoot him. You can't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I can. Damn it, Charlie, you owe it to Danny. Ever. Ever tell me what I owe Danny. Is it understood? Yeah, okay. Okay, Charlie. Okay, okay Charlie! Jackson will be back tomorrow. You said yourself, David, you didn't take the easy way. It'll always be those that said you did. You can't start swinging every time one of them crosses you. Another Charlie? He wants you dead. I've watched him. It's in his eyes. What a man wants and what he gets isn't always the same. Take Nam. The killings. I didn't stand by and watch. I was part of it. I like being part of it. I found myself waiting for it to happen again. Wanting it to happen again. I try to fight it. Blame it on the army, the war. But it was me. So I ran. I should have known I couldn't run far enough.
like it's singing the wrong song. What the hell are you talking about singing the wrong song? We're singing a World War I song and we were in World War II. No, 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 George, it doesn't matter. A, a war song is, is a war song. Uh, every war has its own song. <laughs> That's not true. What the hell are you talking about? Well, they didn't write any songs about Korea, Vietnam. Well, the hell they didn't. The hell they did. Go ahead, you sing me one. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Go ahead, sing one. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'll be a son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, watch your language, Sweeney. Watch my what? I said, watch your language. There's a lady around here somewhere. Wrong, Wilbur. She's no lady. You, you, you remember when I came back from the can, huh? Well, I saw him. Song? Oh. Yeah. Her and that little squid out there in the cabin. Listen, if I had an oil well pumping half as good as they were, I'd have I'd have a hell of an oil well. I mean tell you. He's a sweet pee pee. No! He's no. a pee pee! No, no. I couldn't help it. Wait a minute, I couldn't help it. Because I was just I was just walking by, see, and there they were. Ba 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 going at it as plain as day. No, you're not tall enough. To see yeah. in those windows. That's why I climbed the tree. <laughs> I don't think it's right. <laughs> what? Is it? I don't think it's right that uh, he should have all the fun. What do you mean? I think we should have some too. Well, uh, how are you? Is, is, how are we going to go about that? Just go get it. You think we could, Charlie? Ain't nothing gonna stop. Oh, what about the boy? What about the boy? He'd kill you, Charlie. You touch like that girl. He'd kill you. We'll see. Well, come on. Come on, let me hear that song one more time. Let's go. Your sake, not mine. I love you, David.
it, David. Somebody's out there. Get your clothes on.
Wilbur, give me my gun. Side of the leg, and you sit there, and I'll drive right to you. What if they see we're trying to cut them off? They don't have a choice. They have to stick to the leg till they make their swing to the south. That's the only way they can get out of this part of the country. Charlie. What? I think we're making a mistake. You go tell Wilbur that. You go to Wilbur and say, Wilbur, I think we're doing the wrong goddamn thing. You got anything else to say? Or well, what about you? No, Charlie. All right, then that's the end of the goddamn discussion. Let's move our ass and get going.
Charlie, we're sorry. We're just so worked up about Wilbur. What a shame. Yeah. What a shame. To tell the truth, Charlie, I'm glad they got away. I, uh, they didn't get away, you see? <laughs> There's no tax. They doubled back. Wait till Jackson gets back. David, look. No jumping. Let him sweat it out. Let him remember what they did to Wilbur. Where the hell are they? Thank you. 
This is crazy, Charlie. What we're doing is crazy. I'm getting the hell out of here. I mean it. Where are you going to go? I'm going to move my cabin and wait for that plane. I've had it. That's your choice. It's my choice. Okay. What happened? George is dead. I killed him. Why? He's a dessert. He's a deserter.
Danny. Oh. Scrap, scrap, scrap for every mile. Going on to Berlin with a smile. And we'll bury the Kaiser in the side. Yes, by God, you.